Hey guys, in our video today, we're going to be working on comparing fractions to decimals. Let's go ahead and get started. Our first problem, we have the fraction 2 fifths, a weird looking box in the middle, and the decimal 75 hundredths. Our job is to compare this fraction to this decimal. And so in this box in the middle, we are going to have to put whether it is less than greater than or equals to, all right? Now, when you see a problem like this, here is my tip-top suggestion to you. Get all of the fractions into decimals. So take all of your fractions when you're comparing, ordering, doesn't matter, get all of those fractions into decimals. I think that's the easiest way to do it, all right? Sorry for my bad handwriting down there but get them all into decimals. So our fraction two-fifths, we're going to need to change into a decimal. So I'm gonna grab a little smaller pen here. And here we go. Set up our division. The two is the dividend, it lives in the den. The five is the divisor. Ask ourselves, can five go into two? It cannot. So let's put a decimal and add a zero. So five can go into 24 times. So four times five is 20, and we're left with a zero remainder. So in other words, two fifths is equal to four tenths. Let's go ahead and rewrite this problem now. So we have four tenths, our box, and then 75 hundredths. And so just looking at these numbers, we can see that four tenths, 75 hundredths, in the tenths place here, we have a four and a seven. The seven is greater than a four, so that means that in our box in the middle, we're going to fill in the less than sign, meaning that four tenths is less than 75 hundredths, or two fifths is less than 75 hundredths. All right, the next one, we have nine hundredths on the left. We're gonna compare that to the fraction two elevenths on the right. Remember before, the key is to get the fractions into decimals. So let's go ahead and set up our fraction problem. The denominator is the divisor. The numerator, the two, is the dividend that lives in the den. 11 cannot go into the number two. So we're going to add a decimal and the number zero and add the decimal straight up, okay? Now 11 can go into 20, it can go in one time. So one times 11 is 11, do our subtraction. We have nine left over. And so now we're going to bring down another zero. 11 can go into 98 times. Eight times 11 is 88. Do our subtraction, we have two left over. Bring down a zero. It looks to me we're going to have a repeating decimal here. Um, so we also have three decimal points by this time, or three decimal digits compared to the, the two that we need over here. So our answer is good, we don't have to keep dividing. Let's rewrite our problem. Nine hundredths, our box, and two elevenths, which was 181 thousandths. Now let's look to see what is the greater number based on place value. We have a zero in the ones place, a zero in the ones place. That doesn't help us, so let's go to the tenths place. A zero in the tenths place here, but a one in the tenths place here. And since one is greater than zero, this tells us that our value of 181 thousandths or two elevenths is going to be the greater number. So we're going to set up our equality sign as two elevenths is greater than nine hundredths. One more for you today. Let's put these numbers in order from least to greatest. Let's go back to our... So, we have some work with three-fourths and four-tenths to do. So let's put three-fourths into a decimal. Set up our division problem. I always forget to change the color for you. Sorry about that. So, that bottom number, the denominator, is always the divisor, and the numerator is the dividend. It lives inside the den. Four cannot go into three. So we'll add a decimal. Four can go into 37 times. We have a remainder of two. Bring down a zero. And four goes into 25 times. So, so far we have 
five tenths. Now we have 75 hundredths and finally four tenths. The nice thing with this is we can put it into a decimal automatically because if we say it four tenths, it tells us it's going to look like this. Okay, so let's order these numbers now. The smallest one here is four tenths. And that was our fraction like that. Next one, five tenths is the next largest number based on the values in the tenths place. And then after that, the next one would be our fraction of three-fourths, which had the decimal equivalency of 75 hundredths.